Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Brothers especially. Come on. Good afternoon. How's everybody feeling? I mean, I am just honored and amazed. How look at that, Sister Kathleen. Kathleen Riley. Yeah. Miss Kathleen Riley is about to shine off, especially to men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She wants to shine off how we can have an emotional transformation. But y'all, you're going to release that stress and just free your mind. The rest will follow. Come on, let me see what she's going to talk about, how she's going to get the exact terms for how she's going to help you free. Come on, Kathleen. You know how to show. Thank you so much for having me. I know I have to give the exact terms that I was hearing. Neuroplasticity and energy psychology. Got the mind, I mean the heart-mind coherence with your team. And you're now an expert at it. It had so many years. So come on, give us more details about exactly what you're getting into to help folks to free their mind. The rest will follow. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much for having me. Me. I uh, I <clears throat> addressing that that question yes so as as we look at thoughts right the language of the brain the language of of the head and emotions the language of the body the heart the feeling right feeling and exactly exactly and so what what can often happen when that loop of stress, the habit of stress, the 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 uh, cycle of stress becomes ingrained in a per a person's behavior, you can think of it as there's a there's a mood, right? A mood lasts a couple of hours. Something happens, and then maybe you're you're you respond with stress. Okay. Now, if you don't relax yourself and move your nervous system back into a state of calm, then that can continue to spiral, and then it becomes a temperament, and a temperament lasts a couple of weeks. And then if you don't check the temperament and move yourself back into what's called homeostasis, that calm in the nervous system, then that turns into a personality. And we all know people who are generally very stressed out. They're, they're um, very wound up and and so what happens is you can look at neuroplasticity as your brain and body's ability to build new habits through building new neurons in the brain, or, or rather uh, customizing new neurons in the brain. And so when you are becoming conscious and aware of this habit of stress, then you can begin to make new decisions, right? You can begin to become aware of, well, what is activating my stress loop, right? It, it can be arguments at home. It can be, um, you know, whatever it is. Every, everyone's different, uh, difficult, someone you're working with. And so you can have an activator and then you can have the stress response. But if you become aware of that loop, then you can actually step in to that small window of time between the stimulus and the response and make a different decision. And part of that is about teaching your brain and body how to feel something new, which is that calm, which is that peace, which is that love, which is that joy, all those beautiful emotions that you so naturally vibrate. It be high. Just drink water, drink water. So yes, so that's... Uh, so that so the 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 idea the concept of you know energy psychology is recognizing emotions as energy and thoughts and emotions of course are deeply uh, interwoven right and so how can we change the emotions we're having and therefore change the thoughts that come from the emotion. And uh, so, yeah, so th this, this idea of energy psychology is shifting thoughts by rewiring uh, emotion in the nervous system. That's amazing. Come on. 
<laughs> that was so strong. I'm telling you, no wonder. Because I, I constantly sing, free your mind, the press will follow. I don't feel like, mm, that's nothing. I'm like, whatever. Let me just go here and do my little walk. I'll just walk around the, um, the neighborhood or whatever. I walk up and down the street because I used to love to get my five miles. But you see, I'm a bit toned down, toned up, and it shows I don't have to do no five. I can cut it down. He had the Lord even has me cutting it to one and a half, two miles a day. So it's just like, would you stop trying to do all these walks? Would you just walk around slightly and then just sit and be submissive to you? Because don't you want to get married? I'm like, ooh. So, okay, I have to learn to be submissive and stop trying to figure out X, Y, and Z all the time because I have it. It's so strong. Absolutely. Absolutely. You actually get people to change um, some of their habits or move in, you know, re recommend because you can't force them, of course, but you're recommending a good, a positive step or something, giving them some ideas of some other positive moves they could be doing to release <laughs> the old oh, habits. Oh, yeah. Well, it starts with... Taking time every day, as you know, taking time every day to sit down and, and pre-sensing is all, it's a whole uh, meditation technique. And so sitting down every day and choosing to experience a different emotion rather than, you know, fear really, because you can, you could look at like, yeah, you could look at like the spectrums, like the emotional spectrums, fear spectrum and love spectrum. And everything comes in the elevated, you know, uh, spectrum of emotion. Everything comes from love. And in the in the the uh, low frequency, right, everything comes from fear. So so you can choose to, you know, you can tune into that multivitamin of love or you can tune into uh, peace or calm and, and sit with that and really intensify it with your attention because everything you put your attention on is where your energy goes. Oh, so, oh. Oh. yeah, so you, you are literally, you are literally a source of electricity and your attention what you put your attention on becomes electrified and it grows and it grows and it grows and it grows and grows. And then suddenly you've created your entire reality. So you want to become someone, you want to become a gentleman who's calm and confident with lots of energy. You know, you take your attention off of fear, worry, anxiety, all of this, and put it on something different. And that grows like a garden, right? But when you're taking it off, it grows loving as a garden. It's got good yeah. growing. Right. You put your attention on that, that peace and that love and that calm oh. and connecting to a greater power as well. You know, I don't, <laughs> you, know, you know, I never know what kind of podcast I'm on, but, you know, connecting to a greater spiritual power and and you've you've got you've got rapid emotional transformation so that brings everything so these experiences of, of freeing and focusing or you know putting all your communication on some things you know how is that working with the the men you know doing that stress management and how you know their approach to you know focusing this one here is there any other approach for that stress management for the men so i I don't believe, here's my thing. I, I don't believe in stress management. I think you're either on the cycle of repetitious stress or you're off the cycle of repetitious stress. So, so you know, it tends, I, I would say, you know, there's low, medium and high grade chronic stress. And, and so typically stress management is more... <laughs> It's sort of an approach, an industry, if you will, that's more focused on having a few tools that take a short amount of time that you can bring in, you know, at various points in the day to help lower stress. But then it goes back up. So it's not, it's not the, I would say it's not the same as rewiring and using the full potential that human beings have to completely transform 
and which is neuroplasticity. And so when I, when I, when I, what I teach clients is that in order to really rewire and change fully that habit from stress to peace, from stress to calm, you, you have to really sit down for a significant period each day. I have my clients do 30 minutes in the morning, afternoon and evening, and you have to really turn off that part of the brain that's constantly worrying, that's constantly predicting, turn that off and become pure consciousness, become pure awareness. And then in that extremely relaxed state, that's where you can really rewire patterns in the nervous system in the body, because that's where the body is the subconscious mind and it's in the body that the habit of stress lives. And so you need to really unplug and that takes time and, and go into the, the body and begin changing through emotion, those patterns. So you're in that super deep, deep, deep meditative state where there's nothing between you and greater spiritual frequency and there's nothing separating you and bringing in higher frequency, love, you know, peace, calm, protection. It's a state of deep, deep prayer, if you will, right? And doing that three times a day for eight weeks, you're you're a brand new human being by the end of this. There's no, there's no like, you know stress management or, oh God, my cortisol is really high right now. Let me take some deep breaths. No, no, no. This is changing the habit of responding with stress. Oh, so change some more changing habits. Uh, I mean, <laughs> that is essential. I know about mm -hmm. when you get into the big, the crazy habits, because growing up in America, mm -hmm, we were always trying, especially I'm just focused on the natural angles. We were always focused on, oh, we can have a little bit of juice, you know, here and do this kind of thing. And then another naturalist doctor I was, I'm in connection with, and she's, mm -hmm, oh, what? You going to do all that lemonade, all that sh I'm all like, what? A lemonade? I wasn't jumping for joy when she told me, but long and short, mm -hmm, that was at least five years ago. And now that's why I happily tell all of you guys. I just happily walk around with my big old one gallon bottle. But oh, I can't yeah. bring the whole gallon. I'm only down to a half a gallon now. Because as I was drinking the whole gallon to prove to her that I follow all the instructions. <laughs> It was just taking all of my sodium very low. She said my sodium was too low. So mm -mm, stop drinking all your water. You got to drink it down only to the half a gallon. I'm like, okay, okay. Oh but my Lord. <laughs> habits. It's just like once we get out of the habit or the mentality that we need this so badly. America just wants you all paying for all the sugar and all this stuff. And it's like, uh-uh, uh-uh. And let me just do my walk and feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love singing. I can just free my mind when I just feel good. I walk around and sing and it just releases so much. Is there any yeah. other way that you can get the guys to incorporate, you know, those males that will be incorporating the principles of their daily lives? Like, oof, I know because I get high all the time with all the joyful <laughs> mentality. That's some other angles. That you're going to get the guys to understand? It's, it's, you know, men are interesting when it comes to speaking the language of health and emotional transformation. You know, it's, it's, uh, it, it is about, in my experience, it's about living longer, feeling happier, feeling present with the people they love, being more productive which then incidentally you become more productive the more present you are uh, it's 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 literally you know looking at looking at the the child within right looking at the boy within he was he was so curious he was so full of life he was so um joyful right and then you know and then of course over time these 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 vibrations begin to dampen for many and so you know part of it is you know talking you know, saying 
Well, men, you can reconnect. You can have the the spirit of a child and the wisdom of of an elder, right? You can you can have both, and and so it it is. It's connecting to that that love for life as well, to just to be alive. And so there 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 are various, uh, you know, when when when. A guy, you know, comes to me, we start talking, we start looking at what are the challenges. It's it's typically, you know, one of the things I just named. It's it's a a, a loss of, of that love and, and vitality for life and that uh you know the 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 lives of their children are passing them by and they're not present. It's it's you know it's it's health, it's concern about longevity. Right, we know that chronic stress shortens a person's lifespan, and so it's it's a lot of those things in terms of like, you know, what are the challenges that men want to want to face and overcome? Yeah. Just being up close, I'm up front and clear when they can just release and state it and so forth. Boom! But I know they can have that one-on-one session with you. I mean, do you have a group or a team? You know that they'll be able to connect with as well. Who who can else? can help them out on yeah so i do i do a lot of sessions group based and then and then i do do some one-to-one work as well uh but that's more infrequent and so yeah there's there's definitely well on the app i I sent you my my youtube channel so you can find the app through the youtube channel but on there i've got yeah lots of courses and and uh group sessions and and so yeah that's a whole kind of community and space there okay so they can go to youtube.com you said at pre- presencing presencing yes yes at presencing and then from there they can enjoy tools and then and then move into the 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 app for for other free courses as well so commenting on some of the things they see we'll be able to get them to get the contact and so forth with you Ooh. Cause I love the group things. I love <laughs> cause that's when I, when I was you know, overcoming epilepsy. Cause I'm just getting healed right now. Overcoming epilepsy. That is so encouraging when you can sit down with the other folks who had it. So I'm sure you have that group thing. You, you said the group um, angle. So that yeah. people can just um, relate to each other and see that they're not the only ones. Right. <laughs> you yeah. Got old school mentality, but now you're showing them hello. Free your mind. The rest will follow. Right? Absolutely. When I'm, I'm curious. I don't know if it's okay for me to ask you a question on a podcast, <laughs> but I'm curious. What, what was your greatest ingredient for healing your epilepsy? Oh my goodness. And that's one thing I'm just honored and amazed about how the Lord has been teaching me. Would you I keep singing the free your mind? The rest <laughs> will follow. I've been having epilepsy since I was a teenager. But long and short, it's just like, hello, would you stop thinking and expecting that one? Why don't you say mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that just you now have less than zero a month. Now you have less than zero because I was saying the bigger number and I was all excited and honored that, yes, in this past August, I was just saying, oh, yeah, I've had less, just about three. But uh-uh, why am I just sticking with three? I've had less than three. I've had zero now. I'm having zero. So you won't see it now one you won't see another one i'll just see what i have it because when i get that thought and this other one that was trying to trick me the enemy always trying to give you this other one oh but you've got this one and don't you just know that you just express how you love and you can do this angle here with the lord it's just like shut your butt up you just want me to fall for that trap uh-uh. mm-hmm. i'm not falling back i don't need to remember any of that bogusness let me just mm-hmm, drop the old past stuff that i want to end and i just feel good that's why i love singing because i feel good good i feel good oh yes my lord i just want to reach out into somebody's hand make this world a better place as you can i just see how when i just sing and just relax and don't come up with any of the strategies and just greater rewards come to me as I just uh, relax and just trust and not 
figure out X, Y, and Z because I, no hepatologist, no doctor has been able to figure out my angle. If I had this brain surgeries and everything, I happily signed my book because at least I'm not the only one. Living Free with Epilepsy is right here with a story of Harriet Tubman, Julius Caesar, Prince, oh my goodness, <laughs> Prince, Socrates, Julius Caesar. Their whole story is right here with Flo, Joe, and I and my story. But long and short, hello. <laughs> They're over here shining off how they didn't let that bother them. Prince was like, what place? Let me just keep singing. Let me just sing, sing. And he just kept singing and he just doing all his loving moves. And mm -hmm. so uh, greater things that come when we just free our mind. And I just see that one when I just drop the last yesterday, when I drop yesterday and just move on to today, because today is obviously much, much greater. And yes, I need my stronger victory happening in this season. It's got to come into this season. And so let me just keep expecting it, or let me just keep hoping for the positive, because yeah, when I expected all the good things, they don't seem to happen. So let me just hope, but expect, and it's hoping life <laughs> lovingly. <laughs> hoping lovingly and stop trying to be the controller oh submissiveness i'm telling you i'm learning to be submissive so i gotta be silent and not try to come up with my strategy that's amazing that's so helpful for me that's so helpful for me because we're all on the same we're going we're what what do they say we're, we're headed for the same destination i mean i i feel like i feel like we're all on the same journey of it and then, and then, but like, you know, we all have the different um, obstacles that, that force us to grow. And so I, what you're saying to me is just perfect. It's divine timing. Thank you. Divine timing. I love that. Like you said, we all have it. That's why I live on that one over here. Because mm, that's what, that's my website. Breaking the cocoon. Uh, let me just get about. <laughs> yeah. Breaking the cocoon.com. Because mm -hmm, no butterfly just grew up as a butterfly. We're all human beings and we're way more important than the butterfly. So we just got to break out of that cocoon like the caterpillar. <laughs> and see how many more great results we gain when we just free your mind. <laughs> and... Oh no, I totally cut you off. Wait, you have to sing. You have to sing it. I've been singing that same song. Come on, they've heard that and everybody's heard my What's amazing what's amazing about the cocoon is that uh it's it's the pressure, it's the compression, it's the that makes the butterfly strong. Anyway. Hello. Hello. And we all rave about the beautiful butterfly we see. But hello, it didn't grow up all beautiful. We all had to break out and come on. Because I'm not playing. I'm, when I was born and raised, I was born and I'm the short girl of my family. Everybody else are tall and thin. <laughs> and then I'm the short in one and had the nerve to be, <laughs> had the nerve. Oh, he had me fat. And that's why I am very <laughs> Because I had Graves' disease. If you guys know anything about a thyroid, this oh is really yes, mm -hmm. helps to stand out. Because the Lord, they even burned my thyroid out when I was young. I was what, not even yeah. I was like in what this still elementary school or whatever. I'm still in elementary school, and they burned my thyroid out because they didn't want to you know make a big old scar on my neck. But long and short, I go and get that, and that's what they said brings on epilepsy because the radiation of that what came all over my brain and stayed in my brain and I'm the first person in both sides of the family but long and short it's just like I was always comparing myself to all the other family who was tall six feet my brother is six five my daddy six four my sister six one the other sister six feet I'm only five eight I'm like what my mom I'm just like what is going on why am I here why it's going why am I not special and I was like mm -hmm. why are you talking about you still over here in your elementary school I'm mom I had to hear my dad and my, my mom and all of them encourage me hello hello would you stop caring would you ignore and don't you know how Job had all these huge challenges so I'm like oh Okay. And so that's why it stays on me that, yes, and we're human beings, so we're going to be way more gorgeous. That's why I proclaim that I'm just a Tyra Banks for the Lord. I'm just Tyra Banks and hey.
Let's see. Let's see what will happen for me one day. Hey, hey. Beautiful. And you are no doubt very special. Oh, you're big ass. That's why you got the master's PhD thing on you and you just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm not that fancy. No, no, no. But, you know, it, it's it's quite fascinating because uh, it's, I was born with uh, facial, congenital facial defects and had lots and lots of surgeries. And that's largely what brought me to my work, the, the panic and the anxiety from all the surgeries down the road. But it was, I, I, I looked very different from people, you know, and being, I, I always say that having your, having your defects or your differences on the outside is so, such a gift mm -hmm. as compared to having them on the inside. Because you can't, you can't hide and you have to, you, it makes you so strong and you have to, um, you have to, you have to overcome it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, that, that I'm sure there are people who don't to some degree, but, but that's, uh, that was my experience, you know? And, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's why I like mm -hmm, at least my name different. And yes, I'm not trying to be just like everybody else. So, see, I'm a chocolate sister. A whole different look. Other folks don't look like me. So, hey. Well, and also I found, and I wonder if this was your experience too. I found that in feeling like I didn't fit in, a lot of space was created. And as you know, space has to be filled. A lot of space and separation was created between myself and other people. And guess who filled that space? God. <laughs> that was it. I hear you. We're here to show the males, the males that mm -hmm. they, yes. so they're going to be able to separate and see about being a different angle and they'll have a different angle to free their minds and to take the right to the moves that will actually make a difference in their life yes yes so here's what i would recommend step one grab a pen and paper and look at one situation in your life where you'd rather not respond with stress and, and a stress reaction can look like anger. It can look like, um, you know, it can look like withdrawal. It can, it, it's, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a situation in which you tense up and you respond automatically in a negative manner. So look at, look at a cycle in your life, a situation that's recurring. And with a pen and paper, Close your eyes and become aware of what is happening that activates the response. And then become aware of what your response is. So you can write down the stimulus and then write down your response. Then become aware of how it feels physiologically in your body to respond with that stress reaction. Is it shortness of breath? Is it tightening of the chest? Is it pressure in the head? Racing thoughts. So awareness is half of the process. So now that you're aware of that and you write this down, then choose a different emotional response. How would I rather respond? I would rather respond with a state of pause and calm. We'll take that as an example. Okay. So that's how you'd rather respond to that stimulus. Now, every morning for five minutes, sit down with the intention of moving your body and mind into a state of calm, right? And it's about the first two I remember hearing them shine. Make sure you <laughs> don't tell me I didn't say them correctly so you know how to <laughs> tell them the right steps. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, I see right here. Yes. And, and so, right, 
with a pen and paper and then becoming aware of the, the situation, the stimulus and the response, the loop. And then three is how does the response feel in your body and mind? Examples, shortness of breath, you know. And then choose, this won't get too long, I promise. Then choose how you would rather feel in that situation. Um, and then simply put your attention on calm and meditate on calm for five minutes a day. It's a resource in, and you build the resource so that when that challenge arises, your brain naturally moves into that state. Well, that's cool seeing the five. Because I mean, steps I love when I just can just recognize the exact steps to take. And that's yeah. when the rewards, great results come when we can actually see steps of action that work for others. So I love it. We just all simply have to take the basic steps. And that's why results will happen when we take our steps. Absolutely. That's cool. So they can just remember to come on over and contact you over here at the YouTube at Presenting Things. And get those on because you the males are going to be able to see you in the other group and just get up encouraged and seeing the new moves they're going to make. I love it the same way. Like you said, you went to the city of Mexico. I went over to Spain as well and been over to Mexico, but mm -mm, it's all about how the salsa is so easy when you just do one, two, three. Salsa dancing. One, two, three. So, um, Y'all got to do a sauce of our life, sauce of the moves, and greater, greater things happen when we take all these steps of action and see how we have seen the great results as we broken, breaking the cocoon and becoming the human butterflies that will shine off. But we do not give up and greater things are coming as we, ex we didn't expect, but we were hoping for it. And it's so awesome. So feel awesome. It was nice talking to you, Natalie. It's just encouraging when we can just see that, uh-huh, we never give up. And yes, yes, greater things will come to all of us. I look forward to hearing the testimony that you've given me, that you'll be able to tell how other folks, you know, were able to do it. And yeah, maybe, you know, on your book or something like that, you'll be able to share the good things that other folks have learned from your teamwork, from the team that you have and everything. I will. I will. Thank okay. you. Have an amazing, blessed, beautiful day. Thank hey, you. I just want everybody, come on, you can just contact all of us. You can see how to contact Kathleen and you can see how to contact me, Breaking the Cocoon. You can just go over there and just see how he can get in touch and we all look forward to <laughs> connecting and just shining off. Greater things happen when we don't expect. Have a wonderful and awesome, awesome rest of this week. And we'll have a good one. All the best. Mm -hmm.